um, you talked about the values and functions of wetlands, and, and a lot of that is tied to you know, the, the science behind the rules and, and the policies of the agencies. Um, do you find that it's sometimes difficult to convey that to, to the courts? Or if, for instance, you have a jury trial, do you find that to be problematic in litigation and getting those real important scientific issues behind the agency's decisions uh, in, in front of the court in a way that the court can grasp and uh, understand them. Well, you're focusing on judicial prosecutions. I would say the issue is much broader than that. Mm -hmm. That getting before the general public, ah, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, and particularly the congressional representatives that represent right. the general public, uh, <laughs> to get them to understand the, the, the value of, of wetlands has, has been uh, uh, very challenging. And, and you know, it's not our role in the Department of Justice uh, to demonstrate the value of wetlands for purposes of getting people to have a warm and fuzzy feeling. <laughs> about them. Um, you know, we all know the value of wetlands. Uh, I can cite them by memory, but I'll look at right. my notes. Uh, you know, flood protection, uh, providing food and habitat for fish and wildlife, including half of all the endangered species in this country. Uh, protection against shoreline erosion, improve, improvement of water quality, including drinking water. Uh, and not to mention providing opportunities uh, for education, research, and, and recreation. I mean, these are all very, very important functions that the wetlands perform, very few of which actually have a relationship to the physical, biological, and chemical integrity of navigable, in fact, waters, yet are very important in their own right. So when we do litigate a case, uh, it is important to try to get the judge or the jury uh, to understand that. Uh, but we don't really have that opportunity uh, right. in many of our cases because the cases are about, you know, are the waters jurisdictional? Was there a discharge? Was there a permit? Was this covered by some exemption to the Clean Water Act? Um, and, and we're not, it's really more in the remedy phase where we can talk about the importance of wetlands generally and of the particular wetlands uh, that were affected in, in, in this case. But we only get to remedy after we establish liability. And right. if you're dealing with a jury or a judge that doesn't fully understand uh, the importance of wetlands, uh, then you've got an uphill battle from the, from the very beginning. And I, I'd say it's gotten better. I think people do, as a general matter, uh, appreciate wetlands a lot more than they did 10 or 20 or 30 years ago. Um, you know, horrible events like Katrina, right. Hurricane Sandy, right. uh, helped demonstrate the importance of wetlands, flooding in the Midwest. Uh, uh, but, you know, there, uh, there are a lot of purposes uh, and values to wetlands beyond just those big weather events uh, where, they, where they serve these kind of uh, hidden functions that you don't really see on the surface, you don't really appreciate. And um, I'd say Congress doesn't understand it, and uh, many judges and many juries don't understand it.